ain't what? got the answer, Sway. Kanye. I've been doing this more than you. You know what? I will go ahead and say Sway had the answer. The father should just pick the mate for the daughter. Because she's going to pick a dirtbag almost every time. But most girls won't admit that her parents were right, ever. She'll just keep doing the same dumb sh just because she's stubborn. The crowd wasn't reacting, so she gave them what they wanted. That's sad. That's all they got. <laughs> That's all they got. When all else fails, sew the cheeks or sew some boobs. That's a lot of women's motto. It's pathetic that so many women use that as their primary way to have people care about them in the world. I mean, I can admit it pretty much is their superpower. So once you see that you have something that's so powerful that can get you attention from men, it can get you iPhones, it can get you in the club and get you so many things that you want. Why develop anything else? Well, I can tell you why, because it's going to fade. You only got about a solid 10, 15 years for it to work for you. And people try to tell women that when they're young, but they don't want to listen. They're drunk off the power. And they're not the only ones that get drunk off power. If you give a young man some power over something, he's going to get a big ego. It's a human thing. But women get a big ego off something that they can't use later. That's the difference. If a man develop himself in a valuable way and learn a certain skill, he could use that skill for the rest of his life. Shaking your butt, people don't want to see you shake your butt at 50, 60, usually. <laughs> it's not going to have that same power. That's why young women should invest in something else that can actually bring them things of value when they're 40, 50, 60. A lot of guys are afraid of you because you are wealthier than most of them, and most guys don't want to date afraid you because, of her because they are not wealthy. comfortable with your job. Do you ever feel sad and lonely? Well, that's sad. I've had some trouble dating guys because I'm financially successful. People will want to date me just because I'm a famous star. Yeah. That makes it really challenging to find people who are off. Well, she wasn't thinking about that when she was 18, making money, getting attention and all that. And all the glamorous things that come with the P-star life. I mean, I guess there's some upsides to it. Obviously, people with half of a brain know that it's not worth it long term. Women don't think five minutes in front of their face. Most don't. Some do, but the overwhelming majority don't. And then they want the world to feel sorry for them when the consequences come back around. No, we don't feel sorry for you. You were a pretty young white woman. You had all the options on the table for you at 18. The world was your oyster. <laughs> you could have been anything. But hey, you're married now to some mega, mega level simp. So hey, maybe it'll work out. I doubt it, but maybe it will. For your sake, hopefully it will. You're complaining about the effects of the adult industry, but look what your sweatshirt says. It's just who you are. It's just who you are authentically interested in being with me yeah people are gonna show up expecting what you advertise people show up to burger king expecting burgers because that's what they advertise so if you only advertise your abilities in the bedroom people are gonna come to you looking for that i dated a guy for over two years the main struggle of our relationship was that i do it wasn't until we broke up that he told me that sometimes he didn't want to kiss me. Moving forward after Whoa. that, I've dealt with it again and again. But think about how pathetic that man had to be to even entertain her in the first place, let alone get into a relationship with her and try to make it work. But this is what happens when we're in a marketplace where 80% of the women, okay, let's just be honest, 100% of the women are going after 5 to 10% of the guys. And then they'll settle for a top 20% or if it don't work out with the top 5 to 10 the bottom 80% of men are so pathetic, they'll just basically take whatever they can get and just try to make it work. What percentage of men are dateable? Out of the 10 at yeah, a bar? Yeah, 10 guys step to you at a bar. Hey, what's up? You're looking good. Can I get you a drink? Well, I don't really know if they're dateable because I don't really know anything about them. You know. Right? A girl knows in the first like, five say, seconds say whether one, they'd be I'd into say 1%. a guy. 1%. Yeah. Okay, so not even one. So you chop that one guy up. No, she doesn't think very well. Her brain don't work properly. She meant 10%. That's what she really... Meant. See, this is why I could never do one of these podcasts where I'm sitting talking to these airheads. I just couldn't do it. Up into 10 pieces. L let's make it five. Okay. Five percent. Yeah. So not even one guy that steps to you. Are you guy. kidding? Hardly. Boom. Yeah. Allie, I know that you're married, so Tom, forgive us for a second. <laughs> 10 dudes step to you at a... I'm sorry for pausing it, but she even tried to correct herself and still said 5% out of 10. I... Oh. Let's just give her the benefit of the doubt and say that she meant one out of the 10. 
Let's just give her the Benadryl. Bar, how many of those guys are dateable? I mean, honestly, maybe one. Physically, for sure, one. But then the the hot boys, sometimes they're not ready to settle down. So that could drop it easily to like a 0.5. Mm. But it's slim pickings out there. I observe. I people watch all the time. And that's why how I can tell there is a problem with masculinity. And in that same vein, though, there's definitely a problem with femininity. Like, how many women out there are truly dateable? <laughs> like, I don't know. Dateable and bangable are two different <laughs> Very questions. Very different, okay? yeah. <laughs> Right. Um, but we'll get we'll keep it moving. Leia, um, you're in Miami now. People are stepping to you all the time. What percentage of men are dateable? I think uh, it depends what kind of woman you are, really. I think like um, I was complaining earlier about this to a friend. I think like if you would regard yourself, everything is like personal perspective. If you as a woman regard yourself as like an average woman, then you're going to be happy with like the average man. Oh, we wish it worked like that. Oh, average women want average men. No, <laughs> we wouldn't be in this jam we in right now if that was the case. Average women want those 9 or 10 guys too. Because lady, you're average. And I bet you want a 9 or 10 guy. So you got all these average women that think they're 8s and 9s. No, you're average. Take off the makeup. How do you look when you wake up in the morning? It's not like this. And even this isn't that great. You can't tell her that. Because guys want to boink her on Tinder. Um, and so I would probably say, like, I don't know, let's say there's a group of 10 men, five are dateable, right? Because you perceive yourself as the average woman. Mm -hmm. um, but if you perceive yourself to be, you know, more than the average woman, and, you know, we all know the term hypergamy, women date upwards, um, then, yes, I mean, you're lucky if even one of those 10 men are going to gotcha. be marryable. So the lesson here is that, because, uh, you know, familiar with the Pareto principle, but the 80-20 mm -hmm. rule, basically the top 20% of men get 80% of women technically... 100% of men want the top 20% of men. Yeah. But lesson here to you gentlemen out there, you got to improve. No, F that, man. Be yourself. Be the best version of yourself, but don't improve for abroad so you can get women or women can like you. That's the wrong reason to improve. I mean, be the best version of who you are. Try to improve in areas where you want to improve just because, but don't improve for these dingbats. They're not worth improving for. They're no prize. I mean, I broke this down on another video. Long-term women are not a prize. Because they depreciate with time, looks wise and mental state. Mental illness increases, their looks fade. That's not a prize long term. So if I'm going to improve myself for something, it's not going to be for that. A mentally ill liability, no.